what's going on guys this is Mike from Mobox and I actually forgot to make a video for this week um, so what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of do a little kind of giveaway thing so I'll kind of show you how to do this this kind of technique and then I'll add the um, project file in the description for you to download and use and do kind of whatever you want to do with um, and use maybe in your own application so I'm just gonna open up After Effects here and uh, basically these are just gonna be kind of transitions and kind of these girly things that you see all the time um, on cooking videos and stuff like that and vlogs. So let's see here, we're gonna name this composition, I don't know, I forgot to make a video. 15 seconds is more than enough time, 1080p, 60 frames a second, looks fine. So we're just gonna start out by coming in here, just creating a square. Hold shift to make it a perfect square. We're just gonna center this up. Um, I'm just gonna center the keyframe, press Y on the keyboard, drag it into the center, use the align tool to then drag it into the center more. I'm gonna increase the stroke to maybe something like that. I'm gonna delete the fill and I'm actually just gonna shrink this down maybe a tad, something like that. I'm just gonna open this up here. We're gonna add an animation. We're gonna add trim paths. So let's see, how do we wanna do this? Let's, how do we, let's see how we wanna do this animation. So we want it to be fully open at this point. So we'll set keyframes there. And then I want this side to open up from this end. So we'll do 50% there and then we'll do 50% here as well. And uh, we have it open up like that. Now what we're gonna want is we're gonna add some text here. We're gonna say, let's, uh, why, why do they do this? I think it says like bake or something. Um, I'm gonna scale this down a tad, just decrease the uh, writing size, make it bold. And we're just using kind of like a regular old, some girly font, I don't know what it is. Um, it's actually called Atom Pro, if you're curious. I think you can get it for free or maybe you have to buy it. I can't be certain I buy and download um, fonts all the time. So we're just gonna duplicate this, drag it down, and we're gonna name this, we're not gonna name it anything. Actually, we're just gonna change the text to, I don't know, how high do people bake stuff for? 345, I think, or 315, that's probably good. Um, I've got a degree sign here because I don't know how to put a degree sign in, in After Effects. I'm just going to paste it in. Put F. I'm actually going to make these not bold. Maybe add some character to it. I don't know. Does that add character? It's hard to really tell. Actually, I'm going to make these bold and I'm going to make these not bold. Perfect. I'm just going to duplicate this layer and drag it down. And I'm going to say maybe 15 minutes and I am going to make this bold. I'm also gonna make these layers a tad smaller. So I'm gonna make this maybe 125, and then the 135 down to 125. Just to kinda, of, I don't know, add a little bit more character to it. So you see this all the time. It's kinda of like this little square thing, and you know, it opens up, and it has some cute animations. And the way they get these animations in is they don't make something that looks like that. They make something that looks like that. I'm just gonna decrease the opacity, press D on the keyboard. I'm gonna set that center point on that end of the object. I'm just gonna drag this down until it's kind of, I don't know, it looks like it's in the center of the object. And I'm just gonna drag that down, duplicate this layer, Control D, drag it down until it looks like it's in the center, pull it down, Control D, drag it down again, and I'm gonna drag it over there. I'm also gonna grab this 15 minute and I'm just gonna drag these down a little bit. And I'm gonna grab these objects as well as the bake and the 350, 315, and drag these up a tad. And I'm just gonna, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this, I'm just gonna line this right into the center. Makes it simple, that's perfect. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna drag the, these out just a tad bit, just kind of, I don't know, make it a little more even. Press T on the keyboard, increase the um, opacity. Now what I want these shapes to do, is I want these to scale. So I want them to not scale in X and Y, I want them only scale in the X. So I'm unchecking that chain. I'm gonna change these to zero. But first what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna copy these keyframes, I'm gonna move these keyframes down and then change it to zero that way. That way we get some motion that looks like that. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, hmm, how do I wanna do this? 
So, okay, let's do it like this. Let's create a mask on each of these layers. Right click, just go to the top, new mask. I'm actually gonna put these in order. That way it's easier to kind of distinguish. I'm just gonna select them all and press M on the keyboard. And you'll see there's mask path here. I'm just gonna create paths. Highlight all the layers, press U on the keyboard so I can see all the keyframes. I'm gonna make, just extend this up just a tad. And now let's see kind of what we wanna do here. So we want the mask. So let's see what happens with the mask. The mask scales with the layer. We kind of like that. But what we kind of also want, hmm, how do we want to do this? So we could set, okay, so it opens up just as we want, and then we could have the path. Click on the path and just drag that over to there. We're gonna do the same on all of these. Select the layer and drag these over. Let's see what kind of effect that this gives us. There it is. So it kind of gives it a nice effect. I'm just gonna line up these keyframes here. So basically the mask, all the mask does is it just starts to hide the layer as it approaches. So we're gonna tighten these up just a tad. We don't need these to be that long. So we only need these to be like maybe half a second. And then we need these keyframes to maybe be just under a second. Hold Alt, just tap a couple times, kind of just. I kind of like when it's kind of snappy. So it kind of, it covers and then it goes across. Um. Okay, well these keyframes are kind of messed up. We're just gonna go over this. We're gonna make sure these mask paths are properly closing on time just to make it perfect I don't know you don't have to make it perfect it's up to you you know what I learned is that if you put in the extra time and just make it right the first time it saves you so much time later and it just looks better so now we could add some snappiness we could right click go down to keyframe interpolation or keyframe assistant and add some easy ease or we can go into the um, graph editor I've got a tool over here it's really great it's Get it at mountmograph.com slash motion, I believe. I'm just gonna add some motion here. See what that does, see what that gives us. All right, a little slow. Just gonna hold all the keyframes, hold Alt, and just drag these in. See kind of what that gives us. So at this point, we want these to come into existence. So we want it to come across just like that. We could even do this as we could stagger these. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So now these might have some staggerness to them. Just gotta make sure these line up properly and that it doesn't reveal the text too soon. So we want that one to re reveal the text there, the last one, and we want this one to reveal the text at that point. Oh, oh, these are out of order. Bake, 15 minutes, there's the problem. Perfect. Just like that, you just create a really simple transition. Now we can line up these keyframes so they kind of make a little more sense within the composition. Might add some snappiness to these as well down here. Ooh, what we forgot to do is we forgot to move these over. That should be good. And then we can come in here. And we could add some motion to these, or some blur. Select that. Now what you'll see here is... Perfect. And then all we have to do, let's see, if we control D to these layers, and then we drag these out back here, 
maybe to here kind of maybe makes a little bit more sense. Basically what we did, we just duplicated those shape layers. And then as these come across, so we could turn this layer off. We could turn this layer off. And then we could turn this layer off. And then we'll come down to this shape layer. We'll copy these, Control C, Control V. Highlight them, right click, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframe. And we'll just center these up. Simple as that. Simple animation in, simple animation out. But we might even actually want to change this up a tad. We might not want this cube to close up at the bottom left anymore. We might actually want it to close up up top. Just like that, let's see what kind of effect that gives. That's kind of a fun effect. It's a little different than the initial one, but I kind of like that. Make that layer invisible. How you would export this, by the way, is composition, add to render queue, and you would come in here and so you would click lossless. You'd want to change the format down to, I think, QuickTime and you want to make the format options PNG. Um, now, this will only probably work in um, Premiere Pro. It doesn't really work in Sony Vegas well. You'll have to kind of figure out how to, how to export PNG video in for use in, in Sony Vegas. But basically, you want to come down here and make sure you click RGB plus alpha. That way you get the channel of, this is, this is considered RGB, this white, and then this background is alpha. So that way when you render this, I'll show you what it looks like. So you might have, oh, it's cookies. Look how beautiful they are. By the way, you might want to bake them at 315 for 15 minutes if you're curious. I don't know if you're curious or not, um, but there you go. Simple as that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. If you want to see more, subscribe, obviously. So <laughs> anyways, guys, I really appreciate the support. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.